With the mission to help the world live smarter, Flex is using the Internet of Things to innovate in design, engineering, and high-tech manufacturing. As a sketch-to-scale solutions company for multiple industries, Flex has a highly customized and complicated supply chain. We essentially are the intelligence of things company. We make many of those um, small devices that you hear about that make all of our equipment and things like that smarter. So it's not just about the internet of things, it's about making those things smart and helpful in our daily lives. Flex wanted to replace legacy systems to begin the data integration journey with strict discipline of data reuse. The goal, ultimately to benefit the business by automating the supply chain, design, and factory. We wanted to basically make sure we enabled that predictive um, analytic component. We also were looking at bringing in whole new data sets uh, outside of the supply chain data set and merging that in with our already incredibly rich, almost over a decade worth of data. So we were successful in doing that. Integrating all this data enabled Flex to predict on-time delivery, yield and failure issues, and that was just the beginning. Flex performed analytics on multiple KPIs, purchase price variance, procurement, manufacturer part number, product management, top SKUs, suppliers, and distribution. We have those metrics very much standardized within the company. What we really wanted to be able to do is uh, to be able to analyze those more quickly. Our strategy is to actually take those KPIs and calculate those within the Teradata environment. So regardless of the visualization tool that's put on top of the platform, everybody gets the same numbers, right? So that was a big key for us to be able to do that. Flex can now predict failures on time delivery inventory days on hand, and lead time management, giving Flex customers the confidence to make business decisions knowing the supply chain is data-driven. Flex calls Teradata Data Labs, Teradata Innovation Labs, and the results have been groundbreaking. We've taken huge advantage of the Teradata Innovation Labs. We probably are spinning up upwards of, of 10 or more labs a month. Uh, it's pretty significant. So our goal is to really engage um, those that are close to the data, who know what's going on, they know what's good and what's bad, encourage them to you know, leverage data scientists to help them in whatever projects they're going after. So it, it's, we're, we're just ramping very, very quickly. Ramping is right. Working 24-7 around the globe, Flex has more than 5,000 people engaging with the data with three to 400 business rules. Teams have the opportunity to model it themselves, allowing Flex to shift with the rhythm of business. We wanted to take what we had done in supply chain and extend that further into the factory and then also in other areas, um, you know, in human resources. Again, managing somewhere in the neighborhood of 200,000 employees, you know, um, it is significant. And so being able to be better at predicting employee, you know, rates and needs and things like that was very important. Teradata Business Consulting Services designed and collaborated with Flex to migrate more than a decade's worth of data. And to the surprise of the teams at Flex, the data actually shrunk. I think for us, one thing that, that was a bit of a shocker, um, and actually the Teradata team did say that we should expect this, the data actually shrunk. So you couldn't really look at the old environment and say that it was equivalent because it basically, in the old environment, it probably took up at least 7x the amount of space. So when we went into the Teradata environment, it was significantly less in terms of storage. Um, that was a big deal for us because it helped us um, do a better job, I think, of road mapping our growth and understanding what that growth tra trajectory would look like. And it for sure is our plan to continue to put more data and more information in the platform. Enabling Flex to move towards their next milestone, transitioning from predictive to prescriptive. For me, prescriptive is essentially saying, look, this is the next thing that, that we should do. You know, it's more of a uh, in the moment kind of a thing, but predicting when something is gonna go wrong, you know, or right, um, it is looking out a little bit further and also understanding a lot more of the nuances of what can cause 
things to go well or not go well. Um, so, you know, to me, prescriptive is, you know, it, it, it's, it's that step before you get to predictive. Flex, using the Internet of Things, data and analytics to innovate in high-tech, sketch-to-scale manufacturing.